Jeez, what happened? What happened? Where? I was heading to... Impossible. I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. Okay. And hop up closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. are heavy. I remember you, Regis Third Satellite. Astrogator, sir, crew. Dr. Gorski, Rifle Spy. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? Virtually zero. The word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps are in winter. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? 
Could Should be we be smoking here? Radiation. Is that I don't think that's so. a good idea? According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. And that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Hmm. Anyway, we'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too, so I still hope for this. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? Look at the shine on that head. This planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense, but I assure you that Regis Three is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I had the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean. Together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still so we have got a chance six to people, a critical bro. advantage. They got hundred. While avoiding confrontation. It was like 92 okay. uh, And how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please. How much time do we have to conduct safe research? 13 days. There's no uh, time to lose, then. Oh, it's not too bad. Two weeks. weeks. Well, under two weeks. Do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour or even a couple of hours. Is my suit Dr. leaking? Gorsky is that what the issue is? Of course. Marit? Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you too. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator! Uh, this is not up to date. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if Rob is ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? I got a little feisty. <laughs> I took my own ship. I said, I'm out of here. <laughs> in the field. Is that two people or is it just one? I think it's just one. Dude, oh, wait. Two people? I feel like all I'm going to see is a is robot. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. <laughs> Do you copy? Or a body. Both would be bad. I'm entering the campgrounds. Nope. Oh. Is anyone out there? Hello. Androbot. I 
Androbot, guide me to the nearest crew member. Androbot, guide two people. Androbot, locate human. Help a homie out. Damn. Hello? Hey, anybody out there? Anybody there? It's Dr. Yasna. Oh. Fish. It was correct. Life on Regis hasn't left the water. Cobble also. It said something about it. Oh, another flashback. Here we go. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And Novik? Is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the near sight. This guy's punching his butt cheeks so looking at the view. <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate these boys. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a criminal act. I understand how you feel, Cobble. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? I come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks for me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, Doctor. Collect the mineral samples. Yeah. Koval, right. where are you going? Do you Over. I hadn't. For a little, um, uh, uh, quick wrecking. Probe in the water. I'm switching to manual. I'm going to take a look around. Base distance. Are you there? 100. Uh, a recce. More like a quick ciggy. 300. Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke, Uh, No. No, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. Damn me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther. Would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like a school of fish. This is life. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? I'm talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the pool. As soon as I swim it closer to them, do you see what happens? Is this normal, Yasna? What do you think? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. Catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Got it. What did you do? I had to electrocute him. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs>
Dr. Gorski, have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Ah, uh, well. Never mind. I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your report. You didn't have any... Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing. One, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yet, no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor? Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Akinesia, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor. But it's difficult to pinpoint the cause of the disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests and focal plate tomography of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay, what should I do? Please look for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. You still need to designate a place for the landing. Hello? Anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. Initial diagnosis of the samples revealed nickel, iron, manganese, beryllium, and titanium in the composition. I would give a lot of I would give a lot to understand what it actually is. Quick theory, a giant nickel iron meteor shaped Meteor splashed into the atmosphere of registry, melting its surface millions of years ago. No, it scratched that the shape of the structures contradicts it. It's not a mission log, but it will do. Dr. Crowther kept records. Meticulous as always. What's in there? Dr. Gorski has moved away from the research sector to the west. Ah, that's right. He followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. 
Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broke. <laughs> Touche, sir. Okay. Checked. I'm leaving the tent. Seen what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, <laughs> just fine. put a Proceed finger in his nose think. and make it bleed. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. I found it. Oh, never mind. Not in. No luck. Oh, You're here. Okay. More food and grease? Not here either. Right, make sure I close everything. the extra relay. Excellent. The signal should be back as soon as it's turned on. I got two extra ones though, which is nice. Unless I'm going to use all three right now. Oh, look at that. Very good. I'm connected. Unlike anything I've ever seen. As if, I don't know, as if an electron bomb had worked it all out. It's gonna work. We'll see. I rebooted the systems. That should help. Good, good. It's receiving instructions. Ugh. I don't know if the Androbot should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes, unfortunately. <sighs> mm. A positroid brain. Correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. Oh. <gasps> there we go. He moved. Finally. Artie should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Oh, please check his legs. Be the servant motor. Ah, that's it. Gotcha, you kid bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, sir. I got the robot working. Let's see. In one of the tents, you also find Dr. Krauta, who is in deep stupor. Using cable from Crowder's radio, she regains contact with Astrogator Novik. He has to help Snovik reboot the Androbot so it can take care of Dr. Krauter. Wow. Alright, let's go. 